The coldest the Earth has ever been in a natural area was recorded on July 21st, 1983 at the Soviet Vostok Station in Antarctica. At a mind freezing negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. No other place has naturally surpassed the cold temperature, with the exception of a town in Russia where the temperature fell to negative 89.8 degrees. To continue on temperature, a town in Libya in 1922 reached temperatures of up to 136 degrees Fahrenheit. Most people probably thought Death Valley would have been the hottest, and they really wouldn't be wrong, as it once reached 134 degrees there. Either way, both are very hot and unbearable. Earth's gravity is not actually laid out evenly, as some areas somehow have less gravity compared to others. In Hudson Bay, Canada, the gravity has a 0.005% difference compared to any other place on Earth. Because of this, some spots have been said to have rising water levels. The most active volcano on Earth is located in the southern part of Italy. Stromboli Volcano has been erupting constantly for over 2,000 years. The volcano itself is not that big of a threat to the people living there, but when it does erupt, the lava may gather up in the lower valleys surrounding it. As we all know, Antarctica is a giant body of ice at the bottom of the Earth, but there is more to it. We know that Antarctica contains nearly 90% of Earth's fresh water. This seems pretty appropriate considering it's estimated to be around 30 million cubic kilometers big. While on the topic of Earth's water, it is estimated the oceans that cover around 70% of Earth's surface holds around 20 million tons of gold. If that much gold was divided evenly around the world, every single person would have roughly 9 pounds of gold each. Technically, the Earth doesn't have a full 24-hour days. To be precise, our days are 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds long. Although it is just a 4-minute difference, those 4 minutes add up over time. And Earth has had a lot of time. 4.5 billion years to be exact. The real definition of the Moon is Earth's natural satellite. Because of that, a discovery in 1997 showed an asteroid that visited Earth every other 9 months, and orbited in a horseshoe route. The temporary moon was named Kruthni and classified as a co-orbital object in relation to our Earth. Although it has been said that the Earth is not a perfect spear, it's pretty darn close. Our blue marble is said to be smoother than a pool ball, even with all the tall mountains like Everest and the deep cracks like the Mariana Trench. Our planet is so big that those don't even make a difference. Within the next 250 million years, the Earth's tectonic plates will shift enough to create another Pangaea. As we all know, Pangaea was a large supercontinent and the homeland for some of the dinosaurs, then started to break apart due to climate and tectonic changes. But it was only a matter of time until it happened again. Pangaea Ultima is what the massive island is being called, and it is coming, but not for a very long time though.